How's it going there, YouTube? Well, I haven't posted a whole lot this week because I've been busy. I've been busy trucking scrap metal the last couple of days and on the weekend there, and uh, pretty much got that farm cleanup job about done. Took a couple loads in with the trailer and took uh, three or four more loads in the truck and put a little change in my pocket. So, uh, a good couple few days and just kind of took it easy yesterday, but today I got a little machine shop job to do. I'll flip you guys around here and kind of show you what I'm up to. So we got a little machine shop project here to do. This is gonna be a push plate to go in the front of that W4 tractor right in here. These four holes here. I believe these are a half inch coarse thread bolt. I'm gonna double check with a uh, uh, thread, uh, re-thread tool before I go buy any bolts. But I'm gonna make a little push bar to go in the front there just in case, you know, I decide to drag off a dead tractor or uh, get an implement or get something to come off the trailer that you need a tractor for and having a little push plate in the front of it makes life a lot easier that's of course that's how they used to push hay wagons and whatnot around too so it makes life a little bit easier but i'm kind of doing it reversed because uh let me show you guys i wanted to have my whole my draw bar pinhole on this side this is uh, i think a three by five plate so what I wanted to originally do was have uh, my big draw bar hole here instead of the four holes of bolt to the tractor because it just makes life easy, but I should be able to get away with it up here. I'll bore it kind of in the center here. Then if, if it's too short, then I can always add a little chunk of square stock with a hole through it later on down the road if I do so need to. No big deal. So anyway, I kind of got, uh, this is my granddad's drill press on my dad's side, actually. My great-grandfather was a woodworker, so he had all kinds of tools and whatnot. I happened to get this drill press. Yeah, you could do it with a hand drill if you wanted to, but the drill press is kind of better if you're going through your thick steel like this. I think this is only like a 3 8 chunk of steel, but uh, yeah, it gives me an excuse to use it. I haven't used it in a long time, so uh, we're going to do it this way. So I'm going to bore some holes in here. I'm going to upgrade to a half inch bit here after I drill some pilot holes. Of course, when you're drilling thick steel, you got to go slow or else it's going to burn your bits out. Then uh, for lubrication, I just got a little bit of 30 weight motor on a can there. A little squirt can. Nothing special, but it's better than nothing. I'm not a full-time machinist or anything, so I don't have any special cutting fluids or anything like that. Just a little bit of 30 weight motor only help keep the bit cool it is plenty. So anyway... Maybe I'll try to get you guys set up here somewhere and uh, we can bore some holes and things. Hey, are you guys ready? I'll get some uh, safety glasses on here, I guess. pilot hole. Alright, I'll do the other three. Well, you got the mounting holes drilled out. I think I got one here just a little bit off center. I'm going to open it up a little bit more and throw a big washer over it. It'll be just fine. And now I got to drill a hole for the pin. But I think it's, uh, it might be a three-quarter hole for a draw bar pin. Speaking of such, I might go up and buy a couple of pins today. That way I've got them here because I got some unfortunate news there last night. But if I go for my little trip here, I'll make a clip in the video about that later on. But, uh, yeah. Took a little while to open those up. But uh, I did find out that most every drill bit I've got over about 7 sixteenths of an inch. Just about as dull as an olive drab paint job. <laughs> so, uh... What are you going to do? You just got to go slow and take your time. You'll just burn your bits out. So of course, everything I got is old, and well, my drill bits are pretty much all junk to begin with. I chased these threads out here in the frame of the tractor a little bit. It's actually, it's a 7 16 course. 
not a half inch, which is okay. So you got a little bit of wiggle room with that pleat. So that's a okay. I thought they were half inch, but they're actually seven sixteenths. So not that big a difference. So we're gonna lob off our excess steel here. Wish I had a quick cut here to do this with, but I guess the grinders don't work just as good. Or if you have a metal blade and your saws, all that works too. Augered out the one hole in the corner there. Now it lines up on there perfect. I didn't kind of grind this up a little bit more. See, there's a crooked cut over here too. This is just what you get for scrap metal. So, whatever, I'll shave this off. I'll drill a hole in the center and uh, go get some bolts and we'll be off to the races. So, anyway, if you guys like what you see as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.